Talk to us about blackness. What does that look like? Black people have always been innovators. It's in our nature to innovate. It always has been out of necessity. Survival innovation, same thing. Someone just said, let's make it a fancy term. We've had to cut our own path, but it's hard. So it needs support. The microaggressions, the overt, the covert racism, all of that can leave a chip on your shoulder. And it can change the way that you show up in this world. When nobody else believes in a black leader, usually their business dies. There are conversations that you can't have with funders. And so for the first time, it was an opportunity to have an honest conversation. But it came at us watching the murder of so many innocent black men. To have people actually tell you that, I want to give you money because I feel guilty, it's like, yo, man, like that's not philanthropy. It's not about guilt. It's about recognizing that we need to even things out. We are sitting in a moment in which black people with a flavor, but look, we always been the flavor. We know we've always been the flavor. It's just that everybody else is discovering that we're the flavor of this moment. Black innovation is happening everywhere. It's always happened everywhere. The question is, is, do we have access to capital? Do we have access to social capital? Do we have access to the supports and the larger community of belief that we're worthy of investing? What does a black community look like with power and autonomy over its own destiny?